On June 2, 2021, the college basketball circuit and basketball fans all over the world was saddened when Coach K, Mike Chujewski, announced that he would retire from coaching Duke basketball after almost 40 years in the seat. He announced that his next season would be the last. Coach K is the winningest coach in Division I men's basketball history who is loved by retired NBA stars and current NBA players. His retirement will end an era of basketball like we've never seen before, one of the most successful stints ever. But his path to success was not easy, and it was filled with many obstacles, and he almost did not even get the job at Duke basketball that would change his life and the life of millions of basketball fans. In today's video, we are going to take a deep dive into the inspirational story of Coach K, Mike Chujewski, and some of his most memorable moments. But before we begin, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and the bell notification on the right so you'll be notified anytime we have a new video. Let's begin. Coach K was born in Chicago, the son of Polish-American Catholic parents, Emily M. and William Chujewski. His father was an elevator operator, and his mother was a cleaning woman, and they shared a two-story home with relatives. He was raised as a Catholic, and attended St. Helen Catholic School in Chicago, and later Archbishop Weber High School in Chicago, which was a Catholic prep school for boys. He excelled academically and in sports throughout his childhood years, and by high school, he had started to attract the attention of Coach Bob Knight for the United States Military Academy at West Point. Bob Knight would be one of the greatest influences in his life. Coach K would go on to graduate from the United States Military Academy at West Point, New York in 1969 and play basketball under Bob Knight. He was captain of the Army basketball team in his senior season, 1968 to 1969, leading his team to the National Invitation Tournament at Madison Square Garden in New York City, where West Point finished fourth in the tournament. And from 1969 to 1974, he served as an officer in the U.S. Army and directed service teams for three years. After being discharged from active duty in 1974 with the rank of captain, he started his coaching career as an assistant on Bob Knight's staff with the Indiana Hoosiers during the 1974 to 1975 season. The Indiana Hoosiers was one of the best college basketball teams ever assembled, going undefeated in the regular season, but unfortunately lost to Kentucky in the Elite Eight of the NCAA tournament due to an injury to their star player, Scott May. But after just one year with Indiana and Bob Knight, Coach K returned to West Point as the head coach of the Army Cadets where he would spend the next five seasons. And in 1980, his life and the life of many others would completely change. After the resignation of head coach at Duke, Bill Foster, Duke basketball suddenly had an opening. Coach K was interviewing for the head basketball coaching job at Duke and was spending time in Durham on and off for the next few days but he didn't think things were going well. There was a lot of competition for the coveted spot, and he was at the airport, about to leave, and board a plane back to West Point. You see, after three interviews and an angry wife, it seemed like all hope was lost. But suddenly, just as he was about to board the plane, a voice crackled over the PA system. Micro, um, micro. Coach K, Mike Trujewski paused for a second and looked around. Someone was trying to pronounce a name that they couldn't pronounce. He himself 
was so used to it. But then it hit him. They were calling for him. They were calling for him. Excited, he called his wife. His wife replied, They called you back? For a fourth interview? His wife was livid and she let her husband know it. They offered me the job, Coach K said. How much are you going to make? She asked, her blood cooling somewhat. I don't know, he said. I forgot to ask. You see, he was never in it for the money. Soon, Coach K was announced the head coach for Duke basketball in 1980. Now, the first three seasons at Duke University were a little disappointing, but Coach K was committed to the rebuild and leading the Duke program to success. And in 1984, Coach K led his Blue Devils into the NCAA tournament for the first time, advancing to the second round of the NCAA tournament. Memorable moments that year include Coach K leading Duke past North Carolina and Michael Jordan in the ACC Tournament semifinals, where Duke went out to beat North Carolina 77-75. After his first season of success, Coach K would go on to repeat this success many times over. In 1986, Coach K would lead his Blue Devils to his first Final Four appearance, but unfortunately, they lost to the Louisville Cardinals, led by Purvis Ellison, in the last few minutes of the game, losing by just three points. But Coach K would get his team back to the Final Four in 1988, but unfortunately, they would lose to Kansas in the semifinals, 66-59. In 1989, Coach K got his team back to the Final Four, but they would lose to Seton Hall 95-78 in the National Semifinals. And in 1990, Coach K would get his Blue Devils back to the Final Four, but only for them to get destroyed in the National Championship game by UNLV by a score of 103-73. They lost by 30 points in the championship game, one of the worst deficits in a championship game of all time. Coach K kept getting closer and closer, but he could not get his team past the hump, and he took personal responsibility for the failures. But that would all change in 1991, led by future NBA stars Christian Leitner and Grant Hill. Duke was determined to get over the hump. First, they would avenge their humiliating loss from the previous year against UNLV. In the semifinals against UNLV in 1991, with the game tied at 77 apiece, Christian Leitner was fouled and would go to the free throw line to shoot two free throws. After a missed shot by UNLV in the final 12 seconds, Duke would avenge themselves from the prior year's disgrace and go on to the NCAA Finals. Against Kansas Jayhawks in the 1991 NCAA Championship, Duke persevered, beating Kansas 72-65, and Coach K and the Blue Devils won their first NCAA Championship. Coach K and the Blue Devils would go on to repeat as NCAA champions in 1992, dominating the Michigan Wolverines 71-51 in the national championship game. Coach K was considered at this time one of the greatest college basketball coaches of all time, being the first coach to repeat as NCAA champions since UCLA in the 70s. He would also serve as an assistant coach for United States men's national basketball team in 1992 Barcelona, considered the dream team, the greatest men's basketball team ever assembled. But despite his successes, Coach K started having some health problems in 1994 and had surgery to repair a ruptured disc in his back in October 1994. 
he insisted on returning to the sidelines for the 1994 to 1995 season, and he used a special stool to keep him off his feet. But the pain became so debilitating that he went several days without sleeping early in the season. Shortly after the first game of ACC play, Coach K told his players and coaches that he was taking a leave of absence. Secretly, he was planning on resigning. The grind was killing Coach K, and despite reaching the national championship game in four of the five previous seasons, he walked in with no color in his face, looking old and weak at 47 years old. Years later, Coach K said that he probably would have been out of basketball if he hadn't endured that season, since it made him realize he needed to manage his time better and delegate more responsibility. Coach K would get healthy again, and he would go on to coach college basketball for 25 more years. He would win three more NCAA championships in 2001. Duke defeated Arizona 82-72 for his third NCAA championship. In 2010, the Duke Blue Devils beat the Butler Bulldogs 61-59 when a last-second half-court heave by Gordon Hayward barely rimmed out for Coach K's fourth NCAA championship. And in 2015, Duke would win its fifth national title under Coach K with a narrow 68-63 win over Wisconsin. Beyond college basketball, Coach K would also help the U.S. basketball team win Olympic gold three times as the head coach for the U.S. basketball team in 2008, 2012, and 2016. Coach K was so good that he received NBA coaching offers by five teams throughout his career. He was offered a position by the Boston Celtics, the Portland Trail Blazers, the Los Angeles Lakers, the New Jersey Nets, and the Minnesota Timberwolves at various times throughout his career. But he turned them all down to remain at Duke. He was the hero of Duke, bigger than any player, and widely recognized in all of college coaching circles as the greatest. So the world was shocked when, on June 2nd, 2021, Coach K, Mike Trujewski, announced that his last year of coaching basketball would be the 2021 to 2022 season. And I followed her advice my whole, whole life. And so when I was at West Point, how lucky can you get? His retirement would leave behind a legacy that is unmatched in college basketball. Coach K said he's been doing what he loves since the age of 16. In fact, he quotes, I don't know how you ever burn out doing what you love. I think it's impossible. In fact, your fire grows if you're doing it for that because you learn more and more about what you love and you know there's even more to learn. And despite being 71 years old, he quotes, I want to do what I like to do. I think doing what you love keeps you young. Coach K has coached at Duke for 42 years. He's won more games than any Division I college coach in history. He has used his status as a platform to address societal issues and stood for the right things about the sport. He is also an extremely loyal person. His first three years at Duke was not successful and people wanted him fired, but Duke's athletic director stuck by him and he would go on to reward that loyalty many years later. Coach K has always looked at failure as the path forward to success, such as in the 1990 national championship game when Duke lost to UNLV by 30 points they came back the next year and beat the same UNLV team on their path to the national championship. 
Coach K's ability to connect with players, whether they are highly rated college recruits or NBA All-Stars competing at the global stage, has been one of his greatest strengths. He has also evolved with the college basketball game. In the past, top prospects would often spend four years at a program before going to the NBA. But now, top prospects intend to only spend one season in college before going off to the NBA. He has adapted his coaching style and Duke basketball team to address for all of these challenges. He has commanded the respect of the top NBA stars such as Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Paul, being able to manage Eagles and get his teams to work together. No one has impacted the game of college basketball more than Coach K, and he leaves a legacy behind at Duke like no other. It is especially impressive when you consider Coach K's journey from a child. He did not grow up rich nor with the right connections. He used hard work and perseverance to achieve his dreams in playing basketball and then later coaching basketball. He experienced multiple setbacks throughout his career, but he never gave up and only used each one as an opportunity to improve. I'll leave you with one final quote from Coach K. When you are passionate, you always have your destination in sight and you are not distracted by obstacles. Because you love what you are pursuing, things like rejection and setbacks will not hinder you in your pursuit. You believe that nothing can stop you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Our channel focuses on inspirational and motivational stories that help you achieve your daily 1% improvement. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button and the little bell notification on the right and you'll be notified anytime we have a new video. Also, if you want to learn more about Coach K and success strategies in life, make sure you check out his book, Leading with the Heart, Coach K's Successful Strategies for Basketball, Business and Life. The link is in the description below and is a great book that will truly inspire you and give you insight into the successful life of Coach K. That's it for now. Until then, see you next time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification to the right.